What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my Assassin's Creed Valhalla walkthrough. This is part 53, and in today's episode, we do have these three little tasks we need to do in preparation for Hemming Jarl's um, funeral. Let's see, we we'll, might as well begin with this one. Yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys there, alright? Give me two seconds, and I'll be right back. Alright, we're just outside the Seer's um, hut. Let's see. Here she is. You are the wolf-kissed one. The raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Heminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Alright, let's follow the seer. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, by the way, we're doing three different tasks um, in preparations for Hemming Jarl's um, funeral. So, for you guys who did miss the previous episode, um, the Jarl of Snottinghamshire passed away by the end of the previous episode, so yeah, we're here to help and pretty much guide Vili and, and hopefully make him the new Jarl. So yeah, that's the main goal here, pretty much. So let's see what happens. We'll do these tasks and we'll see how it goes, you know. I'm sure that we'll still have a couple of quests left after this, in this arc. So yeah, this arc seems to be a long one. Just saying. But we'll see. A great gift. A great burden. Did Heminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? Don't tell me we're actually about to go all the way to the top. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure looks like it though. But who would be Yal? Speak less. Lest our words draw foul. But yeah, if you guys are by the way are interested in checking out the previous episode of this series, I will leave a link down in the description as usual. Or perhaps from the beginning, you know, um there will be a full playlist down below, so yeah, check it out. Here we go. Is that it? Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the god's wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trigvi, there is no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Okay, so. Explore the sleeping Jotun. The seer mentioned to meditate at, at its peak. Um, Stretch your wings. I'm guessing it's at the top, yeah. Fun! Well, I guess we'll climb um, this way. Yeah. Um, hold on. Yeah, we'll go this way. There we go. So yeah, this is part fifty-three and still going strong. Um. We do have this arc. Well, this is pretty much the last arc before the end game begins, you know? The final few quests. But yeah, this is indeed the final arc on, you know, the Alliance map. So yeah. Make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe, turn on those notifications by hitting that bell icon. So that you get notified each time I upload a new Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. I mean, you don't want to miss the big finale, so make sure to stick around for more. 
Uh, and soon after that, we'll start, you know, once we're done with the main story, we'll start... Well, I'll show you guys... Might as well synchronize, by the way. Uh, I'll show you guys a few... Well, a couple of bosses I have found to be difficult in this game. Uh, most of the bosses in this game has been fairly easy, so I won't do a video for every single boss in this game. That will take too long. So yeah, I'll do. I'll show you guys the more difficult ones, and there's barely a couple of them. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Um, ooh, Dream World. Is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I've well in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate, then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Oh, snap! Okay. Boss battle. Draugir Hemming. Interesting. This is not how I well, you. what the hell? Where did he go? You left me too soon, ah. Hemming or Yard. Uh, hold on. Shire's fate is uncertain. You make the right decision? Well, I this was do. unexpected. Nice. <laughs> nice little surprise. I do love him. I really do like these surprises. Again? Seriously? Defeat Hemming Jarl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. We just need to find him. He's not there. Ah, here. This way. Perfect. Stop running away. Yeah, you're done. There we go. You pushed me, Hemminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, A4. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up?
Well, that was an interesting vision. Of blood and gods complete. So we do have two more quests. Uh, not sure which one we'll do next. Let's take a look at the map and see which one's closer. Adorning the Adorned and Rowdy, Ra Round, uh, Rowdy Raiders. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys there. All right, Give me two seconds and I'll be right back. Here we are, just outside of, well, Trigvay's location. <laughs> um, Rowdy Raiders is next. Here we go. Too festive and too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trigvay. I'll do what I can to calm things. Alright, find and calm the guests. The rowdy guests are around the Hemsthorpe. So over there is one. What's this? They are going to kill him! Come out, you dung eating rat! Oh come on. What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that okay. out here now! Of course, we need a key. We just go... No, oh, hold on, we don't need a key. Here we go. Oh my. The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh Alright, nothing's going to happen to you as long as you stay close you to me. So let's go. Use it. Get that now. Come on, man. You pay for your wrongs, desecrator. Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Is it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Uh, I'm not sure how this was. Let's go with. Who cares a with a little of a little water? <laughs> Neither should you. He insulted our noble dead. Heminger would laugh at the very... I mean, this is a bit extreme for a little holy water. Come on. Okay, who's next? Uh, we do have... At least someone. Yeah, over there. By the looks of it. On their mind, that's just a Yorm's Viking. Um, I'm guessing down by that... Flaming house. Well, burning house. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Help! Fire! Safe! What is this voda you speak of? A gift without prize, fit for a yarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Catches flame? Fire. What? Save my vote, I burn. All right. Well, it sure looks like it catches flame since it does look like an oil jar by the looks of it. Yeah, a regular old oil jar. There you go. If this is your Voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. 
You dared Surtur's heat, yes! A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the roots of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. Uh, I think I'm good. No, thank you. A bit of drink in the belly, never hurt. Yeah, we'll skip that. Watch yourself. The Voda sneaks up on you, quick. They do something with it, or are we actually done? I think we're done here. Yeah. All right. Let's see you, old friend. One more, over there. Something's going on. Let's go. I need your eyes, my friend. Wow, what's happening? Uh, okay. You mean Hemir's famous fighting roosters? Dragons with mighty claws! Save me from the Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. When you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Okay, return to Trigve. We're done. Perfect. And now we only have one more task. And by the way, I think... Um, yeah, we'll finish all the tasks and then we'll see... Well, if I'll do anything else for today's episode. It all depends on how long this will take, I guess. I have Here we go. Guests, as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heming, I would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi. With time. Yes, it will. All right, Rowdy Riders complete. And now for the final little task. We need to speak to Willy. <gasps> Willy, yeah. He's all the way up. Well, it's not that far. Hold on. Just up, up here. By the looks of it. That's good. Excellent ah, there you are. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear. Did he not wield it at Ulkethorp? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. All right, find the entrance of Peak Cavern. Just, well, hopefully it's just up ahead. Come on, let's go. Yeah, doesn't seem to be that far away at least, so we might as well just ride there. No problems. So we need to finish our gift. For Heming Jarl's send off to Valhalla. Oh, here we go. Alright. In here. This must be the cave Billy mentioned. 
Peak Cavern. Surely has to be an. Hold on. Is it down here? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, this is the right path. The exile must value his solitude living in a hole such as this. Yeah, here we go. Sure seems like it. I mean, otherwise Eivor wouldn't have said anything. Come on. Yep, here we go. You're a difficult man to find. Heming Ayal is dead. I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heming Ayal. The stones. Heming Ayal possessed the steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Build a stack of cairn stones. Okay. Uh, one of these. Hopefully this isn't that difficult. Trust me, some of these can be very tricky. Yeah, seems to be easy enough. That's good. The required height isn't th that difficult. Thank you. Your heart is not yet steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. Who are you? A friend of Hemingers? Or a man exiled by his order? It does not matter who I was. I am nameless now. I am no one. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Wirth, then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. The Alding is tomorrow, and a Jarl must be chosen. Okay, new quest. Under the skin. So, yeah. Adorning the Adorned is complete. So now I guess we'll go and speak to Suniva and see what's next before we wrap things up. I mean, yeah, I don't think we'll do one more quest. Nah, no, we'll take too much time, so yeah, let's see. She's all the way over there at Odin's Rest, alright? So I guess I'll see you guys there. 
All right, give me two seconds and I'll be right back, as usual. <laughs> yeah, be right back. All right, here we are. Let's see what Suniva has to say. There she is. All right. Did you consult the Volva? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trygvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trygvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl? old as I am. This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili, Trigvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trigvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor! Put a stop to this fool's death wish! No small decision, Trigvi, and not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here... Would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve him in Ayala unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. 